Hello everyone and welcome to what is going to be a series of uh, videos. Uh, this is a e-bike kit from uh, Curb e-bike. Uh, it's a full kit and it's one of the most simple to install kits and also complete. This one includes absolutely everything you need for your bike and even for other e-bikes so you can convert them with uh, this motor to have front wheel drive and uh, to do it very very simple so my plan is to actually convert the e-bike that has rear drive and make it a dual wheel drive uh, so it has front and rear motors that will give it a very good performance and it will make a very interesting project but today we are just going to take the contents out of the box we are going to take a look at the whole kit because here is the battery and there is the wheel and there are a lot of accessories such as brake lever, sensors, display controller and a lot of stuff. So we are going to take a quick look at uh, all of those. And on camera you are going to see something probably you are not going to say that there are too many things here. But trust me there are a lot and we are going to quickly discuss over each one of them. So first of all the battery pack comes... Uh, this is the battery that I have chosen for this kit. It's a battery that has its own rail mount. It has a key lock. You can take this out. It has a gouge here to check the level. It has an on off switch. You can turn it on now. You can uh, check quickly check the level. Um, also, it comes pre-cabled XT60 connector. Uh, then to make this battery easy to install, you get also an additional uh, rail to adapt this from uh, round pipe to normal pipe so this comes uh, very handy you can also use this in some other kind of uh, do-it-yourself mod such as fixing this to your rear rack so very useful to get this uh, then you get here a lot of other extra accessories so you can secure the bike you can use the bottle holder mounts on uh, your frame if it has screws there you have the screws if you don't have that you get metal straps and uh, not to damage the uh, frame you also get rubber bands to protect the frame from scratches also you get additional velcro straps to secure it so uh, you get all the mounting possibilities. Also, the battery comes with its own charger, which is a very good quality charger, as you can see. It's not the small ones that overheat and make a lot of noise, and uh, this one, it's a really good serious charger, although this is a rather standard charger, it's just 2 amp charger, but that's good because it prolongs the battery lifespan now let's first look at the motor this is uh, 350 watt rated motor uh, front wheel drive as i've told you in the beginning it comes with uh, disc mounting options so you can use uh, disc brake um, the size of the wheel that i have chosen it's uh, 25 point uh, uh, 27.5 inch um, and uh, that's most about it it comes pre-wired with plugs everything so uh, it's easy to install and now the remaining boxes so here we get a small case that is a kind of a hard shell uh, it also has a zipper that is fully waterproof and inside you are going to get the controller which is a KT based controller that runs dual 36 and 48 volts uh, it has 7 amp rating current uh, also uh, it's a nice design because it comes pre-wired with the uh, correct plug which is XT60 so fits directly to our battery and it's not the kind of controller that comes with a million plugs that are ne not labeled in any kind of way this one comes with the round waterproof plugs that are very decent and they concentrate a lot of pins, wire sensors there so you don't get that messy ball of wiring and plugs that no one knows what it does and a lot of plugs are there for nothing right so the controller as you can see pretty nice small decent let's move on then we get this wiring here so we get the new brake levers because they are sensored brake levers they are from Vuxing they are 
very reliable and they have been on the market for a very long time they are very good component makers for e-bikes um, again we get a very nice addition here this cable uh, here is the throttle also a throttle it's a push throttle uh, again the design is great because you don't have a wire for each kind of uh, device here they all concentrate into one single cable that connects directly to the controller this is very nice design and this is the thing that you don't get on most any other kind of kits even on high-end bikes you are getting a lot of individual cables that go from each component to the controller so that's a very nice thing to have then this is the um, sensor for your uh, pedals this uh, tells the controller that you are spinning the pedals so it needs to supply power again using the same nice round cable round plug waterproof so you get very good design when you finish the do-it-yourself uh, bike lift. then we get other things here so let's check it out we get this one which is an extra sensor and this one works with this type of big adapter for again using assisted modes this has a lot of magnets here this is the sensor so this fits other type of bikes where you can't fit this small sensor so you get two options of fitting that's very good because it helps you install it in other situations then we get torque arms because torque arms are very nice to have and this increases the safety of your e-bike a lot uh, torque arms are useful because when the motor generates torque and uh, tries to pull you or push you it also tries to spin itself in uh, the bike fork uh, if the bike fork is made out of uh, thin materials and it's not steel and it's something like uh, aluminium it can actually rotate so hard that it can break the parts where it fixes to the bike frame or it can rotate itself and then just jump out of that and you can uh, get into a very uh, nasty accident so torque arms prevent that they have special uh, form here that goes onto the motor shaft and it holds it in place not uh, allow it to rotate and with this arm then and secure it with this stripe to your bike frame and it will prevent the motor from uh, twisting in the frame so that's a very good thing to have also if your bike already has brake levers or hydraulic brakes and you don't want to use the provided um, brake levers here you get an additional set of uh, magnets with sensors so you can actually retrofit this to your existing brake levers so you put the sensor you glue the magnet on the brake lever and just like that you get sensors on your current brakes so you don't have to change all of that then let's move to the other box uh, here is the display and mounting harder of the for the display this also is a compatible KT LCD pretty good pretty big uh, we are going to turn it on later to see how it looks uh, in the extra bag here you get the the needed hardware to fix this to your handlebar and we also get here a manual that describes the functions and hopefully we are also going to get the advanced programming otherwise if we don't we are going to search for it on the internet but I think that we are going to get that also let's move on so that's another box to take away we also get a lot of tools here because uh, we want to make this as easy as possible so we get uh, hex keys we get an adjustable wrench we get this for taking out the tire or installing it because the wheel doesn't have a tire so those are very useful uh, we get extra washers and we get also a pedal extractor because this is almost priceless uh, to have because uh, you know that pedals are hard to take out or impossible with this one so if you want to install the 
assisted pedaling sensor you are not you are not going to be able to do that without it last but not least we get extra accessories here so we get a tail lamp that looks pretty nice uh, we get a LED headlamp that has four LEDs there we get the whole wiring again we are using round cables round plug and also the concentrators that take several wires and fit it in just one again very nice idea you can see here they have really thought of everything of uh, these cables so they connect nicely to your uh, bike and we also get here indicator switch horn switch and light switch so you can control of that probably this stop light also has uh, turn lights built into it we are going to of course check that later and we get also an extra mounting uh, bracket this is for your uh, seat for your saddle uh, it fixes under the metal parts of uh, that one and you can fit the stop light to it Last but not least, we get an extra bag that comes with the manual and some other things such as a strap for your wires with Velcro, a textile, a textile one. Uh, we get the wired braiding, uh, zip ties and the manual itself. The manual itself is actually one of the best manuals that I have seen in this uh, kind of uh, kits because it's not only giving you the user precaution, questions, answers and gives you a detail uh, list of the included parts but it also shows you the available type of accessories and parts that they supply they show you the tools and they give you information about wheel size how to measure the cassette type tires so it's kind of also has an introductory part which is very good uh, then it gives you a very detailed how to install and it's using this how to install for all the types of the kits that are providing for rear wheel for cassette type for how to install the torque arms and it's really really detailed it has very good pictures and it has very understandable english uh, a thing that it's not uh, very common in uh, a lot of other manuals that uh, you get so this is very good value the manual itself it's brilliant brilliantly made as you can see it has a lot of instructions here shows you everything how to do and how to install it even shows you how to glue the magnets and how to adjust them if you use your old brake levers they really thought of everything and they even give you some small maintenance tip and cleaning tip also the wiring here for the uh, connectors what they do how they work uh, really really nice so until I film the next part which is uh, starting to install this on uh, the bike uh, you can also head on to the link that I have I have included here in the video information below uh, you can check there on their website their prices which are very competitive very very good as you can see the kit is very well made has very good build quality and uh, especially nice design with all those cables and also on their site you can see a lot more kits because they have uh, motors that are really powerful such as uh, 1500 watts i think they also have a 2000 uh, uh, watt kit uh, they have uh, huge batteries small compact batteries they have rack batteries they have tube batteries they have everything so you can choose you, you can kind of configure each kit because you can choose to buy it with lights without lights with cable concentrators without those with sensors with no sensors so you can pick all of those on their website so you go to their page you choose your main motor and battery and from there you can kind of configure what you want in that kit so you can get the best price for what you need so you don't probably you don't need some of these things here so you can save some money by not uh, choosing them so that's really nice so highly recommend to check their uh, website and see what you can get there so until my next uh, video and second part that's is going to come soon see you and bye bye